Hello, snowboarders of the internet. This is Boot Fitting 101, and I'm your host, Averin Lefevre. In this video, we're going to be talking about ankle wraps. Modified ankle wraps or the full ankle wrap, also known as a butterfly wrap. Not to be confused with a butterfly tramp stamp. The purpose of the ankle wrap is to suck up volume and lock that heel down. Now the modified wrap is this one right here, which only concentrates on the lower part of the ankle. Whereas the regular full wrap around one will also go above the ankle and below it. This will just fully encapsulate that ankle and really make it hard for any heel lift. It's gonna lock you right down. This is really great for people with very narrow ankles or who have very bony ankles and just sometimes get pressure from the shell of the boot hitting on the ankle or around it. I would strongly recommend modified ankle wraps for people that just need more volume sucked up around the back of the boot and around the heel. If you need more than that, that's when you wanna upgrade up to the butterfly wrap that goes above the ankle as well. This way, you're going to get proper heel. Now, you're looking at how this thing is formed and you're probably saying to yourself, it doesn't have as deep of a pocket right here that it could have, and that's why you want a razor knife. You're gonna be able to trim these as you need. So if you need to cut more out, you can do it. So for this fix, you're gonna need an ankle wrap of some kind, whether it's the modified or the butterfly wrap or something you're going to make from 3M foam from scratch. Now, for most people I say just buy the modified wrap or the butterfly wrap. You don't really need to make one because it is a lot of foam and, well, frankly, it'd just be easier to start with it. You're also gonna need your duct tape, a razor knife, and the heat gun. So the big thing to note about this wrap is that it's gonna cover this J-bar across the back and then the other J-bar. It's going to suck up a lot of volume. It's going to mold around that heel cup right there and you may need to do a bunch of trimming with this. Now I'm not saying that everyone is, but you might have to cut that heel pocket out more or cut that dip down in the J-bar just to suck up volume and to align with the natural stance of your ankle inside that liner. To apply this wrap, you're gonna peel the cover off the back of it, hit it with the heat gun to warm it up, and then place it above the heel but below the ankle bones and press it into the liner and wrap it right around. Now, don't be surprised if after you put it on, it's not quite hitting right on the ankle and you're gonna have to do some trimming. That's just kind of natural, that's kind of how it goes. You might have to cut out a little bit more on the heel, and you might have to cut out a little bit more right where it connects underneath the ankle. You just gotta trim it to fit, but this is gonna suck up a lot of volume and give you supreme heel hold. One of the biggest things you're gonna notice was when I was trimming these wraps, I took a lot out. I'm gonna tell you right now, you wanna start with a very minimal amount and then work your way up. But if you will notice is I saved the leftovers from trimming them. So that way, if I needed to go fill in any spots, I've got what I cut out and I can just cut it down and place it back in, kinda of like pieces to a puzzle. So let's say while you were trimming, you did cut out a little bit too much. That's where the foam sheet comes in, you're able to just trim and fill in there, and you might have to overlap a little bit of foam, which is fine because if you have to do that, you can always peel out the duct tape and fill in where you cut it out, or just put it right over it to suck up even more volume. If you don't feel comfortable doing this to your boot, you might want to go to a boot fit. Now, one of the things you can do with these is put J-bars over where the inlet is for the ankle bone if you need to suck up more volume. Or, if you want to, you could even double up on these wraps. I don't really recommend that because that is aggressive overkill, but just a little bit over right where the ankle bone is will suck up more volume. So while this video does show you what a modified wrap can do, you might need a butterfly wrap or the full wrap, as it's also known. 
the one where it comes up and over the ankle. So if you've got this on there and you're still feeling that your ankle isn't as secure and you're not getting as much heel hold, that's when you wanna bump up to the other one. And if you don't have one, all you really need is J bars that are flipped upside down. So that way they come out over the top and that will provide the heel hold you're looking for. And you can trim them to fit. In case you haven't noticed, the big thing with boot fitting is not being afraid to trim when you need to. So if you get something in there and it's not quite right, trim it. If you get in a hot spot, trim it. And duct tape is always your friend. So don't be afraid of that. Now, one of the big things you're gonna notice was right when I finished up putting this wrap on, I covered it in duct tape. I cover everything in duct tape so it slides in a little bit easier and doesn't hook up on the internal harness of the boot or anything in there. Now you might notice when you're sliding it in that sometimes it hooks up and that's why you hit it with the heat gun. That way it's just easier to compress everything down there, make it a little smoother. And if you really absolutely need to, you can spray silicone spray on the liner to help slide it into the boot. All right, so hopefully you guys learned a little bit about ankle wraps from this video. And if you did, leave me a comment down below. And if you're gonna try this, please leave me a comment down below. I wanna know what you're working on so maybe I can give you a few pointers if you run into any problems. And if you think I'm full of shit, I know you're gonna leave me a comment down below. I'm not even worried about it because I fucking track trolls have for the last 10 years. Don't really give two shits. Anyways, if you're new here, subscribe. Click the bell, get those notifications, and if you really want to support us, check out Angry Snowboarder VIP. Those guys in that community really wanted a boot fit series that was comprehensive, so we created it for them, and you guys are reaping the benefits. So if you want to have a say in what we create, get over there, join up, there's some great perks like stickers. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.